Welcome back to another video on the Super Duper Football Show, guys. This is um, Eli um, with the, your top three week three per fantasy performances in 2021 NFL season. Uh, starting off with the quarterbacks this week, um, Josh Allen uh, put up a season high uh, for any quarterback in fantasy points with 37.22 fantasy points. Um, had a monster game against Washington. Uh, I think his um, MVP run will continue throughout the season as Justin Herbert at number two in a in what could be considered to be an upset win against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, it was just a very, very good performance by the overall team. Uh, and even Herbert, he put up 30.84 fantasy points. So you were lucky if you had him hit him on your team. Uh, Matt Stafford, uh, who is also in definitely in the MVP conversation, had 29.52 fantasy points as they took down the reigning Super Bowl champions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Matt Stafford had four passing touchdowns. Absolute monster of a game. Uh, they just they just outplayed the Buccaneers. That's all it comes down to. Najee Harris was the best fantasy running back this week with 28.2 fantasy points. Uh, he didn't do much on the ground even. He only had four fantasy points rushing-wise. Um, but he had 24.2 in, in the air. Uh, he had 14 receptions for 102 yards. Uh, they really turned to him during the game. They have really had no other option during the game. And that's all they could do. So he had he had 19 targets, I believe, and 14 receptions for over 100 yards. Kareem Hunt, uh, he was just the running back that they were going to be successful playing this week against the Bears. Uh, Nick Chubb just didn't find too much success on the ground. Had a couple good runs, but um, didn't have get much going. Uh, Kareem Hunt. Uh, majorly outplayed Nick Chubb this week. Uh, I think that will change next week. I mean, Nick Chubb is still the primary back in Cleveland, uh, but Kareem Hunt provided that change of pace for the Cleveland Browns uh, in Week 3, which led him to a fantasy performance of 27.5 points. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott uh, went off on Monday Night Football, two rushing touchdowns um, above 80 yards, I think. When I, when I went to sleep, he had about 60 or 80 yards. So um, 26.6 fantasy points, of course, influenced quite a bit by the touchdowns. Nonetheless, uh, a solid performance by Ezekiel Elliott, earning him the number three spot in the fantasy um, running backs for this week. <clears throat> fantasy wide receivers in week three. Uh, the number one wide receiver was actually Mike Williams. For the Chargers, the, the connection between Herbert and Williams is real. Uh, Williams had a game-winning touchdown against the Chiefs, which, um, you know, which hints to us that the Chargers are willing to go to Mike Williams, even in critical situations, even in late-game uh, situations where they need a touchdown to win. And they're looking to Mike Williams as a reliable um, source of – as a reliable target just to get him in the end zone. Uh, Devontae Adams with 31.2 fantasy points. I think there's no surprise here. It's just Devontae Adams uh, and with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback. So, I mean, he's been the best receiver in the league for uh, a year or two now. Maybe maybe even longer. He's right, right now he's the best receiver in the league, no doubt. 31.2 fantasy points in week three. Uh, which earned him the number two spot on the week. And Cooper Cup once again comes in the top three. In week two, he was in uh, first place. Now in week three, he's in third place. Uh, <clears throat> barely, a, barely a worse performance with 30.6 fantasy points. Uh, he again dominated. He had 96 yards, uh, one or two touchdowns maybe, maybe a couple touchdowns. Uh he continues to be the focal point of the offense in Los Angeles, uh, which further makes his case for um, like a very reliable target for the Rams. 
And he's also being used as a major red zone target. Uh, fantasy tight ends. Uh, surprising. This list is very surprising. The top three, at least. Um, number one, uh, the Dallas tight end, Dalton Schultz. He had 26 fantasy points. Um, I don't know if anyone saw that coming. Tyler Conklin, like, had 20 fantasy points. I don't know, man. <laughs> and Mike Gusecki had 18.6 fantasy points. I don't know what what, what was going on with tight ends this, this week. But, I mean, don't ask me. Because I do not know why they got so involved. I don't know why they got so many fantasy points. Um, fantasy kickers. Uh, we had Chase McLaughlin of the Cleveland Browns put up 19 fantasy points, got so many opportunities. Uh, with the Browns' offense getting close enough for Chase McLaughlin, had a career-high 57-yarder in that game as well. And at number two, we had Justin Tucker, who made an NFL record 66-yard field goal in Detroit to beat the Lions by two points. It was a game-winning field goal, longest kick in NFL history. He went for 66 yards, and he only, he got many opportunities besides that too. Put up 17 fantasy points on the season. Uh, excuse me, on the game. Um, but that is uh, it's just insane how he can kick 66 yards. His kick power rating should be 104 now. Um, Brandon McManus and Mason Crosby tied for third place, tied for the Browns middle there, each with 16 fantasy points. Uh, Mason Crosby was able to capitalize on his opportunities with the, the Green Bay offense was clicking versus San Francisco, uh, and so was the Broncos offense against that very poor Jets defense. And the final section, we had the fantasy DSTs, Arizona, once again, with an elite performance, 21 fantasy points. They had uh, 16 in week one or two, I believe. And they're back at it. Uh, this time it was against the Jaguars, but nonetheless, 21 fantasy points. You'll take that any day. New Orleans Saints, uh, once again, <laughs> with 20 fantasy points. They are the best defense in the league fantasy-wise right now, like as in fantasy points on the season. And I think they'll continue to show show up a quite a lot, um, especially after some of those guys are returning from injury on their roster. Denver Broncos uh, just lost Bradley Chubb for a substantial period of time, uh, not the entire season, but a pretty decent chunk of the season. Uh, they say six to eight weeks, um, but but. Um, Nevertheless, 19 fantasy points on the week for the Broncos facing a very poor Jets offense. Um, they were able to get the stops when they needed to, and they, um, you know, they got a lot of pressure on the QB uh, with that unexceptional um, offensive line of the Jets. Besides Becton and Vera Tucker, I mean, that's all they have really. Uh, yeah. But the Broncos were Broncos were going to win from the beginning, and their defense really helped them out. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this week, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a like on the video. It really really provides more, provides us more motivation. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, more of these videos will be coming out. Uh, there's playlists for the uh, top three fantasy performances videos and also for the power ranking videos, which um, the week four power ranking video will be coming out probably on Friday, uh, October 1st or Saturday, October 2nd. It depends on the, um, depends on my, how my schedule works out. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to log off now. Uh, Hope you have a great rest of your day, and peace out.